Hello everybody. In today's video, I'm going to talk about God Mode Space. Now, this is a browser variant of AutoGPT for people whose systems might not be strong enough to run AutoGPT locally. Now, if you don't know what AutoGPT is, it's an experimental open source application. That means this is not developed by a specific company. This is open source and has been developed by people who are volunteering to do it. What makes it different is that it actually chains together thoughts to autonomously achieve whatever goal you set. Now, how is this different from any other chatbots? If you use ChatGPT or ChatSonic or any other traditional chatbots, you have to think through the prompt one at a time and every time the AI tool returns you something, you have to think over the response and figure out the next prompt that you have to provide. But AutoGPT kind of removes that step and chains a bunch of thoughts together to achieve that goal. Now, it does say that this is running fully autonomously, which is slightly incorrect because you have to approve every single step before you proceed to the next one. Now, before we get started, it's important to make sure you have your paid account set up with OpenAI and also make sure you have your usage limit set. Now, I have already created a video on how to do this properly, so make sure to go to my playlist section and go to this playlist called Sparks of AGI and watch the first video here. Now, after you have that set up, come to this website called godmode.space. I want to show you some of the examples that Godmode Space has provided for you to try. For example, the first one here says, in which market should I launch my vegan protein bars? Now, this is kind of complicated, right? Because first, you have to figure out what market means here because it might be a physical market, it can be online, it can be sold on Amazon, it can be different kinds of online marketplaces, maybe you have your own brand, maybe if you have your own website. So there's different ways to market your protein bars. And we kind of ask this in a more generic way and let AutoGPT figure it out. Now, after the market has been figured out, the next thing here is the vegan protein bars. Now, it can be aimed at bodybuilders who are just concerned about the protein part, or it can be aimed at vegans who are more concerned that the protein bars are vegan. And after the market and the actual bars are figured out, it says, where should I launch? And launching can, again, mean a lot of things. So I hope you understand how complicated this generic line can be. And I think that's the point of AutoGPT and God Mode Space. It lets the AI kind of figure out what to do with the information. Because you might have this random thought and you might have no idea how to market things or how to make protein bars or how to launch it. But that is where this AutoGPT concept comes in really handy because it kind of gives you a framework on how to proceed and comes up with all the steps that it thinks are needed for you to achieve this goal. Now, since I've talked so much about this example, I must try this out here. So I'm going to copy that and paste it right here. Now, before you launch this task, make sure to go to your settings and make sure that you're logged in. It appears that the initial demand has kind of waned off and it says you don't really require to provide your own API key. So I'm going to test this out first without providing my API key to see if it works. So now that I have my goal selected, I'm just going to click launch. And I was correct. The current demand is okay for this to proceed without my own API key. All right, let's look at the suggestions that it has provided. So the first one says, conduct market research to identify potential target markets for vegan protein bars. So it has this button right here which says add. So if you think that this would be important, you can just click add and I already just did that. Now this is gonna be one of the tasks it completes as a part of this goal. The next one says, analyze the competition in each potential market to check the level of saturation and potential for success. So basically it's gonna analyze the current level of competition to see if launching a vegan protein bar makes sense. So I'm gonna add this as well. Now, before I try the third suggested one, I want to show that you can also add your own suggestions for what it needs to do to achieve this goal. And you can just click on this empty space right here and type something on your own. So I'm going to type evaluate the healthiest 
recipes for vegan protein bars. So here I also want to make sure that the actual recipe is pretty healthy and doesn't have a lot of processed food. So I'm going to click enter and add that as well. You can keep adding as many tasks as you want. Uh, I think I might want to add one more. Evaluate the potential of selling vegan protein bars in India. So India has a big population which doesn't eat meat so there might be potential of selling these bars in India so I want to add that specific task as a part of my goal. And now I'm just going to take the last suggested one which says evaluate the regulatory requirements and distribution channels in each potential market to determine feasibility and potential barriers to entry. All right, so I have five tasks that I think are important for this goal to complete. And if you want to keep adding, you can add as many as you want. But I think these are enough for my test today. So I'm going to click launch. And when you click launch, you're going to see that it says the AI is starting. Sit back and relax. Because now, instead of you having to figure out every single step, AutoGPT is doing the work in the background. All right, so after the first task has been thought through, and when I say thought through means it has actually provided its thoughts. It says, I think we should start with goal one. Now remember we have provided five different goals or tasks which are part of this main goal. And according to AutoGPT, it thinks that it should start with goal one. That makes the most sense to get started with versus evaluating the healthiest recipes first. And it's asking me for approval. Green button here means it's starting with this task, but it wants your approval to proceed. And this is where I meant that it's not exactly fully autonomous yet. And that might be a good thing. And it's asking you to provide an approval here to proceed. And it's saying the proposed action it's going to take is to go to Google and provide an input called vegan protein bar target markets. But I'm just going to let it proceed and click approve this plan. You're going to see that there's this rotating button right here. That means it's working on the plan and it's going to provide me some results soon. All right, it says based on the Google search results, we can start by analyzing the vegan protein bar market size and growth potential. And we should try focusing on target markets where our competitors are not currently targeting. And I think that's really smart. So this is where it's kind of different, right? Because it already made this first Google search and came up with a bunch of results which it studied. And if you go to any of these completed tasks and click on it, it's going to show all the things that it returned. So it did a search here, went to this website, there's a URL provided, and found from the body what it learned, and went to another website, and another one, and another one. So after going through all these results, it decided that this search is not enough to complete this task. So it's asking to do another search and asking me to approve this plan. So I'm going to click approve. All right, so it completed this second search and analyzed a bunch of different results again. And this time it decided that no action needs to be taken after this. Because from the search results, we can see that the global vegan protein market is growing and has significant potential, but we need to analyze it with a critical eye to avoid being too optimistic. Now, this is kind of thinking like a human, right? Because it says we should evaluate the potential revenue streams and find the different potential barriers to entry. So since it says no action needs to be taken, I'm going to just approve this plan and proceed to the next goal. And I think it's slightly unclear on what a task and a goal means. For me, this is the only goal. But the first one kind of said that that is goal number one. I think that might be just a mistake. But I think every single step that we found before to go through are all the tasks. And these are kind of subtasks which are a part of each of these tasks. All right, so the next one here says analyze the competition in each potential market to determine the level of saturation and potential for success. And for that, it's making a suggestion on doing a Google search on vegan protein bar companies to see where the market is at the current moment. 
All right, to proceed, I'm going to click approve this plan again. All right, now it says due to high use, please provide your own API key. So initially when I started, it did not require me to provide my own key. But apparently after a certain number of uses, it does require you to provide your API key. So make sure to have that ready before and go to my video here to make sure your usage limits are set so you don't get charged too much. I already have my usage limits set, so I'm going to go to my API keys, create a new secret key and say God mode space and click secret key. I'm going to delete this later so there's no issues there. I'm going to copy that and paste it right here and click verify API key. All right, it says you're good. So my API key should be working with GPT 3.5, which is much cheaper than GPT-4. Actually, let me see if GPT-4 even works. Actually, I don't have the GPT-4 access yet, and it also provides this warning that GPT-4 model is pretty expensive, so make sure to have that in mind before you provide a GPT-4 key. I'm gonna go back to GPT-3.5 and click Verify API key again, and click Done. Now, for any future queries, I'm gonna get charged a few cents for any of the actions that it takes going forward. So I'm gonna click approve this plan. All right, it has figured out that there's this website called humanfoodbar.com, which is a good website because it has reviews on several vegan protein bars. That's pretty cool. So this is really nice because I did not have to scour through a bunch of websites because I have AutoGPT doing that for me. It has found a bunch of websites and figured out and kind of made the decision which is the best one. Now you see it has tried this website called purewow.com, insider.com, and this is the humanfoodbar.com that it selected as the best one. There's one more, gomacro.com, there's one from Healthline, one from Good Housekeeping, and a bunch of other websites, but it made the decision that humanfoodbar.com is actually a good enough website to proceed with doing our research. So there's some decision making that is happening here. You of course need to approve its decision because it's not true AGI yet. So I'm gonna click approve this plan. I also want you to notice that it kind of skipped over one of the steps. So these are not actually happening in order. So it went through this task first, then this one, and then remember I mentioned this task called evaluate the healthiest recipes for protein bars, but it kind of skipped that. And I think it makes sense because we haven't even reached the decision of whether we have the right market yet. And how are we even trying to figure out recipes if we haven't even figured out the market yet? And there's another point for the smartness of this tool because it has decided that this step is not worth proceeding with at the moment and it has kept it for later and it's currently going through this next one which says evaluate the potential of selling vegan protein bars in India. Now for India it says we should first research the regulatory and distribution requirements to determine with feasibility and potential barrier to entry. We should conduct a Google search to gather insights on India's current vegan market and potential competitors in this region. So it says that it wants to propose this Google search called vegan market in India and wants my approval. So I'm gonna click approve. And I'm already pretty impressed by how this is proceeding through the task and not choosing tasks in order because it's much smarter than that. It's figuring out what needs to be done first. All right, it has some thoughts based on its latest search. Let's look at the search for a second. It is searched through India vegan market food outlook, uh, veganism statistics in India in 2022, and it has come to the conclusion that based on our prior knowledge, the US and Europe have been successful markets for vegan protein bars. We should also consider health and fitness enthusiasts as a possible target market. So it has kind of told me that India is probably not the right market to start off the strategy with, and we should start with US and Europe first and figure out later whether India is a viable market. 
Europe and US are flourishing markets for vegan products, and focusing on these markets and customers can facilitate profitability and growth of our vegan protein bars. And it says that should be enough. We have kind of checked off India, which is cool, and I'm glad it figured it out now versus trying to sell these vegan protein bars in India and fail and not make a profit, because I think India already has a decent amount of vegan protein industry because they have a lot of other kinds of foods which are really good. So maybe they might not buy vegan bars according to AutoGPT. So I'm going to approve this plan. By the way, it has this clock on the right. If you click that, it will automatically approve everything for the next 10 minutes. I actually want to go over them one by one, so I'm not clicking that. But if you want to do auto approve and let it run more autonomously, you can just select that. Now, what's interesting to note here that it's going through these different steps and it's placing them according to the task and according to what category those actions fit in best. So this conducting market research has a lot of these tasks that are happening and it's kind of placing them under them properly. And market research is kind of open-ended because you can go in a lot of different directions and there's no end to research. You can keep researching out and figuring out different ways because it's still research. There's no final final data, you're not doing any sales right now. Now this would look different if your goal was something more final, like generating a resume for someone in a specific job market. It kind of evaluates what needs to be done for you to build your resume and the resume is done and there's a final stage there. So that's all I have for today's video. I hope you got some value from it and if you did enjoy it, make sure to click the like button and subscribe to my channel. Till the next one, thank you so much.